Watersheds are in the news. Watershed is a large or small area of land where fresh water enters the environment, then runs from a higher ground down to a lower ground. This is where animals get their water, the rivers and streams of a watershed. We have the task of keeping the water clean as it traverses the land. That's the job of the Environmental Protection Agency and its associates, federal, state, and nonprofit organizations. Here's some of the analysis to keep in mind. You can judge what the present condition of your watershed is. You can also determine the state of planning that the feds have regarding it. For example, the EPA, over the past 50 years, coastal and freshwater wetlands have declined. Surface water and groundwater withdrawals have increased by 46%, and non-native fish have established themselves in many watersheds. A nas recent National Water Quality Survey of the nation's weightable stream showed that 42% of the nation's stream length is in poor biological condition and 25% is in fair biological condition. Near 40% of fish in North American freshwater streams, rivers, and lakes are found to be vulnerable, threatened, or endangered. Nearly twice as many were included in the imperiled list from a similar survey conducted in 1989. What they do when they look at watersheds, they figure out the approach to conserve it, they assess it, they look at different types of assessments, which you can look at in their website, they approach conservation, they use various outreach tools to encourage the people in the area to conserve and of course on these web websites at EPA you can see various projects and related publications to this effort. The assessment framework I thought was very interesting. They'll look at landscape, they'll look at the biotic condition, the biological condition of a water body, they'll look at chemical and physical parameters, nutrients, temperature, dissolved oxygen, organic matter, pH, and so forth. They'll look at natural disturbance, uh, various things like floods, droughts, fires, insect infestations, and so forth. They'll look at hydrology or geomorphology, which has to do with water flow, and structure, and sediment. They'll look at ecological processes. These are energy flow, cycling, production, consumption, and deco decomposition of organic matter. And they'll try to come up with an integrated framework for assessing all this in your worship. There are a lot of conservation approaches and tools. We were particularly interested in the wildlife action plans which affect water for animals. And we went to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies, which works together with all the states to look at various wildlife and habitat uh, strategies. The three programs of the Association of Wildlife Agencies, which ties together all these groups, were coordinating cross-cutting cross conservation issues. Uh, for example, uh, international and national issues ranging from migratory birds, fish habitat, fur bear resources, and invasive species. Working from the federal to the state. They, we looked at the amphibian and reptile conservation programs. This is particularly interesting because uh, the association, because of amphibian and reptile conservation, 
uh, programs like Partners in Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Park, uh, the various state communication coordination programs, academia and others, looking at the amphibian and reptile populations. Integrated bird conservation, most of these is financed by hunters. So looking at the various ways that this can be developed and improved is part of uh, the future strategies. And then teaming with wildlife. The association has been at the center of most of North America's major wildlife management and conservation efforts. This is the Teaming with Wildlife program, building a coalition of more than 6,300 organizations, agencies, and businesses working to secure long-term stable funding for state-based fish and wildlife conservation. So that's the background of the watershed program and how it affects our issue, which is water for animals. Lots of research here, lots of things to keep an eye on. You got that right.